Hello everybody, I'm LEGO Separator and welcome back to another LEGO video. Today, today we're gonna be looking at a set, set number 600, wait, no way, actually, that's the wrong number, 60227, yeah, that's right, from LEGO City and was released in 2019, and it's all about Mars, all about space rockets, so let's just jump into it and without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So well, first things first, this set comes with four minifigures and another character. So, first minifigure in the bunch is this astronaut. Uh, shall I say Mars Explorer or something like that? It looks like the Martian suits that they are uh, trying to design for Mars exploration. So anyway, she's got this very nice special helmet with a clear uh, blue uh, space helmet visor. Let's take a closer look at that helmet with a little bit of black ribs at the back, I suppose, the seal to keep keep her uh, head fully enclosed inside the helmet. Now her face over here is a simple uh, smiley female face and on the back over here she has a white air tank, a rather small one compared to the bulky space uh, suits. That just slips around the neck so we can take that off. To have a closer look at the torso and the legs themselves. Now as for the torso it has this sort of silvery valve set in the middle, we've got quite of an orange colour scheme going on with some dark grey gloves, we've got a little Mars exploration logo on the left uh, chest over here, some silver work to design the uh, spacesuit a little bit more. Now moving on to the lower end of the torso we have some sparkly silver dots all over that I don't know if you can see that well, you need to really get it into the light. And that's also printed on the legs as well, nice and super special. We've got a printed white belt over there as well, printed legs. And at the back over here we have more silver spots and the rest of the spacesuit design. So now we also get another spaceman, and this one is a utility spaceman, I do believe. This one to go out into... Uh, the void of space to go into zero gravity rather than on Mars. So first of all, he's got these this silver spanner over here. Um, nice sort of a uh, matte yet shiny silver, and it also has a little wedge on the end that can be used as a Lego separator. Now for the minifigure itself, it's using these large uh, white apparatus pieces for astronauts with a golden little little golden. Uh, a little golden visor there, we can take that off to have a look at his face, which has uh, a pretty smiley sort of dude face with uh, with little creased cheeks over there too. Now, as for his torso, he has the same, actually I haven't noticed it, but he has the same uh, valve on the front of his spacesuit, just like our previous minifigure. And if you actually have a look at them side by side, they actually look quite similar with uh, the shaping of the lines, you see the lines on the legs match up with the lines on this suit. The belt is the same. I didn't notice that before. Honestly, I did not notice that before. He has the same logo, just because it's on white, it's uh, you can it's more visible. And we have some white gloves on those white sleeves. That's a very nice touch. And moving around to the back, we have, well, the same lines printed as well. But now, minifigure three is a occupant of the space station. Um, this elderly man over here, I say elderly because he has uh, grey hair and a grey beard, kind of nice grey wavy hair there, like he's getting old but he still wants to look stylish or something like that, maybe some sort of celebrity from a magazine, but anyway, having a look at his face over here, we have uh, a nice smiley face with these, um, with a grey beard going around, and grey eyebrows too. Now, for his suit over here, it's made to look like one of those light microfiber suits that the, uh, that the occupants of space stations, the astronauts, have. Uh, so it's supposed to be sort of a loose sort of design. Still got that logo on it, but we also have a secondary logo, a little space uh, satellite logo there. We've got some straps on the blue top with uh, hermetically sealed uh, zipper up there, some blue sleeves, some plain hands, some plain blue legs, and around the back over here we have some creases in this suit as well. And last but not least we have our last minifigure which is the other occupant of the space station and she's asleep. 
Wake up! Okay, there we go. She's awake now. So she has the same suit as our previous astronaut all the way around, but she has a different head and hair piece. So the hair piece over here is this sort of creamy. It has a different mold to the first one, just in case you're wondering. Uh, we can take that off to have a look at her face, which is like, Nice, showing her front teeth over there and her tongue as well as a few little freckles there on her face too. And around the back over here, well, we also have a duplicate face. Well, duplicate face? Alternate face uh, in sleeping mode. And we do get another character in this set, and that is this cute little robot over here. So uh, he doesn't have any legs, he just has these two long arms, and it seems like a thruster at the back with this orange... Uh, with this translucent orange base plate at the back. So I assume this is uh, for zero gravity flying, you know, a little robot. Instead of just wandering around, it just zooms around in zero gravity. Now, it does have a print for its face over here. By the way, the arms are articulated. But anyway, the face over here is a printed flat tile over there. It's got two little eyes there for the robot, done in blue, to be sort of like LED display lights. Kind of like those robots that are popping up in shops, you know, those ones that you can code yourself with the little facial expressions. In fact, it does have a facial expression because one of them is larger than the other one. So let's just get onto the good stuff now, and that is the Lunar Gateway itself. Well, I'm calling it the Lunar Gateway because it is based on a real thing. It's based on NASA's Lunar Gateway, a space station that will orbit the moon. And before we get to this, I'll just go over a few things about this. Uh, at the time of the recording of this video, NASA intend to launch the first major part of the Gateway in 2022 and then send two new sections up with a small living space and a science lab. Now, I know you haven't seen anything yet, but that kind of, kind of matches up with this because two of these smaller sections are indeed a living quarters and a science lab. We'll get to them in just a bit. And they also say, as in NASA, that cutting-edge robotics will operate the station when humans are away. And I think that couldn't fit more with this little cutting-edge robot. Okay. So let's just get down to the space station now, the Lunar Gateway. It's just, it's quite large, uh, about 30 cent 35 centimeters in length this way, and about 24 centimeters that way. And first of all, this section at the front disconnects. Just like so, and then you can just flop this down. So this is a little spaceship, and we're going to concentrate on this first. So let me just put that over there. So as for the spaceship here, it can fit one person inside the cockpit, which can open up just like this, a plain cockpit with no stickers on it or anything. It looks pretty cool, I must say. And on the inside, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you to see that properly. Let me just see. Okay, so inside the cockpit, we have a little panel with a sticker on it. In fact, let me just take that out so you can have a good look. It's got, I don't know, some sort of... Some sort of futuristic spaceship readings or something like that. Kind of nice. And anyway, as for that one minifigure fitting inside, uh, let's just get this uh, Mars Explorer lady over here. And we can put her legs just at the front over here where the panel piece is and folding her back. She has space for her arms with these special cheese little pieces. And let's just connect the cockpit back on then, shall we? And it fits just like so. And look at that. Get some good angles of that. We can also fit the other bulkier spaceman in there too. Now, as for the design of this little spaceship, it's made to be, I think, like a small little tug ship. You know, like a tugboat, but pulling on a lunar gateway instead. It's got two little mini winglets here on the sides uh, made out of some wedge pieces. By the way, it's got this very nice special hull design underneath uh, with this section and this widening section here as well. It's got some uh, little round tiles under there just to keep everything uh, stuck together as well. Now it has some little wings over here. These wings reach a wingspan of approximately 11 centimeters or so. Now, over here at the top, we have a little storage compartment. You see this tile over here? This is a 2x3 tile with a sticker on it. It's got that Mars logo with a spaceship driving right through it. Uh, and it's got this little arrow. And this is very easy to remove. Just uh, clip it off. 
just like so that's just a tile and inside we have a little storage compartment it doesn't fit mini figures or anything like that it can fit small little accessories in there instead and we also have these nice sloping pieces just to keep everything uh nicely formulated and i like this this sort of a knobbiness this little inset knobbiness on the side um where the storage compartment is we also have these two little blue lights on the sides too now as for the wings themselves these 11 uh, centimeter long wings uh, they're made just around like all the other Lego City spaceships with black and uh, white accent there. We've got some white grill pieces and some tiles just to uh, make things look a really lot more nicer. And at the back we have the thruster, a small little thruster with a little orange stud on it. And we also have these interconnecting bits here. This is a blue uh, connector and this is a cream connector. With a little with sort of like an axle on the end of it and this is what is used to connect to the space station so let's bring that space station back over here now over here on one side of the lunar gateway we have this i should say airlock door or something like that but it's more like a flappy door um it's got this uh, little vault sort of uh ring over here so you sort of unscrew it and then open it up now we have holes here, 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 and here, and these are used to help connect the modules together, you know, the sort of the bulkiness, and then those little ports on the sides. These two little holes over here are used to connect the spaceship with the lunar gateway. It only connects at the top. The bottom is more sort of like just to keep it from spinning around. And then we just put the flap on top, and it can tug it about. Now, with the spaceship removed, let's have a closer look at the gateway itself. So there are three modules in this. It's not completely modular, that you can take them easily off and stuff like that. But if you remove a few things, you can rearrange them around in different formulations. We also have these solar panels here on the sides. Now we've got mainly white color scheme uh, with some dark gray and some orange stripes as well. Looking around here on the outside, we have these dark wind windows as well, these dark panel pieces uh, over here and a dark brick here. Some more windows up here, and one extra one behind the solar panels here. Now, for the roof of the uh, Lunar Gateway, they have these nice gold bars, so anybody working around in zero gravity can grapple on. There's another bar over there to hold on as well. Now, let's just get on to the inside of this station. So, they have these little removable roofs. Um, every single one of them is the same. So you don't need to worry about getting them mixed up. And now we can look inside. I believe this is the kitchen module. So with the light pointing into it a little bit more now, we can see what is what on earth is inside that kitchen module. And guess what on earth they have inside that kitchen module? Pizza. We have a little pizza oven inside the space station. The Lego goofiness is just tremendous. But it's also kind of cool. We've got a sticker over there sort of to represent the oven and the little controls too. And we have a little pizza inset there. Now this is a disc shooter piece and we have this little knob at the back. It's kind of hidden by these solar panels but we have a little knob here to push and by pushing that we can fire the pizza out of the oven. And sometimes it does jump out because it is a quite strong disc firer, so health and safety, be careful with it, alright, just be careful with it. Uh, a nice and safe way to use it is just holding your finger uh, in front of it, pushing it, and then it just pops into your hand. And then you can take it out and feed it to your minifigures. Also, I think it's sort of made to replicate that if they do fire it out, it will just bounce around the whole cabin, you know what I mean? But anyway. I'm taking too much time on pizza. We've got some plants growing here on the side. I believe this is like uh, some form of growing area. And we also have a little little sticker over there. Let me just get that out. We have a computer screen in inside the space station. Okay, there we go. We have a little computer screen inside the space station. This is one of them. We have plenty of computer screens, but this is one of them. It shows our little robot uh, waving his little hand over there like, hello. Okay, so with that out of the way, we can take a look at more of the construction of this. Uh, if we go around to look at the other side, we have a few clips over here. One of them looks like a sort of 
special wrench and we have another empty clip there I think you can put the silver spanner there or, or some other accessories this is also the observation place you can look out through the window and we've got decent amount of stud space at the bottom to stand your minifigures of course this isn't zero gravity so you can't really uh, make them do much we can still stand them up inside there and we also have these nicely formulated little passageways it's hard to get to see them but we have these little passageways formulated on each ends of the module and that goes for the largest module of the space station so now i would move on to these sections first but i want to get over the solar panels first so these solar panels are made with like blue banner pieces uh, they're on special articulation hinges and they just have some large stickers on them four of them the same and these can be bent in different ways you can move them this way that way and you can also rotate them like this and also this section over here has a little satellite dish on the end of it sort of communications and it can also be removed just like so and you can reuse this just like you could reuse the spaceship to go to mars instead of pulling this about you can also reuse this to be an actual satellite and it looks a pretty good satellite that with these golden accents and these special large solar panels as well let's stick this back in in fact let's just Let's just uh, take it out just for the sake of just for the sake of uh, getting to the modules better. So now this module over here is the living quarters. So let's open that roof and see what's inside. So first things first, we have a bed on the wall. That's not something surprising. I mean, plenty of space stations have beds in different uh, ways. This is just to um, this is to show you that. Well, beds can be in different locations on the space station. They also have a special treadmill down at the bottom, which will be hard to get at. But you can see the little computer screen over there. Um, that's a, another sticker there. And the treadmill part as well down at the bottom. And we also have a few TV screens on the side over here as well. They're stickered tiles. Uh, one of them has the face of our sleeping beauty. That word over there also says incoming, all right? And over here, it looks like some baseballs going on. Some cricket, some baseball, something like that. Looks like they're watching TV back down on the city. And this is a very nice and compact space station. So anyway, now that we've covered two modules, let's get on to the third. So excited for this one because this one comes with a special feature. So this is the lab that I was telling you about. And first things first, we have a little microscope set in the side up here because why not? You can make the minifigures look into here and see the little sample dish down there. In fact, we'll just take that. We've got a little sample dish down at the bottom as well. The, that's what they're looking through the microscope. Now on the other side, yes, I know you can see what's going on here. But first, we need to look at the sticker. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm going to take it out. So here's a another TV screen and it shows the other space astronaut who's living in this space station, uh, the gray bearded one. And we have a name over here on the top. It says D.R. Ogel, Dr. Ogel. And that makes a very good pun because Ogel is Lego. Spelled backwards. Moving on, we also have another window set inside there. And here we go on to the lab bit. So it is a little bit compact because it is a space station. But we have these special rock geodes that come into this uh, Mars series or something like that. Uh, they come in two pieces, two identical pieces, and they can be put together to make one large rock. Now, as for the rocks themselves, I've got something moving around here. As for the rocks themselves, they have sort of orangey, no good color uh, with some blue sparkles inside there. And if we turn around, we can see the sparkly insides of the rock. It's so sparkly, it's got little fragments of glitter stuck inside the little gel sort of idea and they are both identical now they're not just there for looking they are for researching so let me just put them back on the workbench over here so let's pretend you found a whole giant rock like this what do you do well 
In LEGO City terms, we need to crack it open. You've got a hammer over here, and you can use that to pretend to crack this rock open. When you've cracked it open, you can turn this, this is on a hinge, and the two parts you can split together, or well, split together, split apart from each other just like so. Are you still following? And then finally, once you have done that, you can do your scientific experiments on that. And that includes light. So over here, set at the back, we have a light brick component. It's got a little bit of decoration on that. Just a little, it's just a little press, press button. And that puts a light behind the, the little rocky geode. And it makes the insides go all sparkly. Now, another health and safety issue. Do not look into the light bricks directly by the way this is an orange light do not look in directly into them because that this is a very strong led now let me see if i can darken the studio a little bit just so you can see that light a little bit better nope we need to switch off some more lights Ooh. can i point the light the other way okay oh yes that looks so good doesn't it all right, so now that we're in the back in the light of day, I think that just about covers the lab section of the space station. So what have we learned today? We have learned that humans can do a lot of stuff when they put their mind to it. Let me just reassemble the space station and then I'll see about any details that I might have missed out. Oh yeah, the top over here, we've got a little antenna over here uh, with a little printed tile there printed tile uh, with some details there. I think I missed that out. Now, as for the construction of the space station, it looks pretty good. It's got the it's got these these little grey sections over here on the beginning are reused all around the place, so it can be reused uh, for plenty of other things you might want to use. But that is the end of this video. So, I hope to share more in the future. I hope this inspired you to seek things out in space. And until next time, happy building.